I'm so glad to be able to, uh, to go back to the scripture to find principles and, and pictures of prayer. And of course, we start out with the Lord's Prayer and the Lord instructed his disciples when they asked him, Lord, teach us to pray. And you'll notice how God-centered the prayer is, how uh, genuine the prayer is. One of my favorite statements about prayer comes from Martin Luther. When Luther said that the Christian prayer should have few words and lots of meaning. Whereas, as he said, pagan prayers have uh, lots of words and not much meaning. So we need to lean into theology, lean into scripture. We need to lean into uh, affirming on the model of biblical prayers, what it means to come to God as Father, how it is we can call God Father, and then continue through the confession of sin and the acknowledgement of our need for Christ and, and God's mercy, a declaration of His greatness and His glory. You know, when you just think about the Psalms and you consider that's how Israel prayed and worshiped, it, it really puts into contrast uh, how paltry and thin a lot of our prayer really is.